was in a hot, dense state that nearly 40 billion years ago. Expansion started, wait. The earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to do Neanderthals. They built the tools, they built a wall, they built a pyramid. Mass science history unraveling the mystery. All started with a big bang. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's celebration assembly. Today, of course, it's Comet Relief, and we have lots and lots of superheroes all whizzing around the place, making lots of money for charity. So thank you to everyone who has joined in. You'll have to wait until next week to see today's photos, but today's celebration assembly is all about Science Week, and you'll be able to see all of the learning that went on later on in this video. First of all, though, it's time for this week's Shooting Stars. Congratulations to Chanel in nursery. Chanel has come back to nursery with the biggest smile on her face. Chanel was also our PE star. She was able to show us her excellent balance and skills and move with confidence. Chanel always has an amazing attitude to everything she does. Well done Chanel, we are very proud of you. Congratulations to Sahar in yellow class for some great reading and writing. Sahar is able to confidently use Fred in your head when reading words. And alongside this, she is also working really hard at improving using Fred fingers when writing. Well done Sahar, keep up the great work. Congratulations to Rupert in blue class for coming back to school ready to learn. Rupert has impressed me so much in read writing. He is joining in brilliantly, recognising all the sounds and is attempting to write independently without asking for help. Rupert has also shown me how he can now write his name. Keep up the amazing work Rupert, I am so proud of you. Congratulations to Charlie in 1Y for a great improvement with his reading and writing. Charlie is able to blend sounds and read simple words and is using this to help him write too. Well done Charlie, keep up the great work. Congratulations to Luke in 1R for fantastic work in read writing sessions. Luke recognises all the sounds taught and uses these to read both real and alien words with confidence. Well done Luke. Congratulations to Abigail in 2EH for settling back into school so wonderfully. Abigail has worked extremely hard on using adverbs in her writing and has also done some amazing addition in maths. She always has a huge smile on her face. Keep it up Abigail. Well done. Congratulations to Daniel in 2A for settling back into school so well. Daniel is beginning to be a more active learner he really shone in the Mother's Day dance. Well done, Daniel. Keep it up. Congratulations to Millie in 3C. Millie has been working hard with her reading this week. She's been using her thread talk to help her sound out unfamiliar words linked to our Greek topic. Millie has also used her fastest finger and thinking hat to answer questions about different texts we have been reading. Millie's confidence has grown and she is showing real enthusiasm for her learning. Well done Millie, keep it up. Congratulations to Zola in 3J. Zola has come back to school with a huge smile on her face and as always has a brilliant attitude towards all of her learning. She has thrown herself into our 8th topic on Ancient Greece and has already produced some fantastic writing about an ancient Greek marketplace. Keep it up Zola. Congratulations to Cohen in 4N for his amazing attitude to his work all last week. Miss Cox was so impressed with the quality of work you produced in your first week back in school and with the brilliant attitude you have towards all of your learning. Great work Cohen, keep it up. Congratulations to Sana in 4S. Sana has really impressed me this week with her positive attitude towards her learning, especially in maths. Sana is very confident with her times table knowledge and this has benefited her when solving different types of fraction problems in school. Sana is a superb mathematician and I am very proud of her work. Well done Sana. 
Congratulations to NA and 5F for an absolute, absolutely fabulous start back to school. NA is showing a fantastic attitude towards her work, often giving up part of her lunch time for extra learning. She is working especially hard on her spelling and handwriting and is determined to earn her pen licence. Keep it up NA, I'm very proud of you. Congratulations to Ethan in 5H for making an excellent return to school. Ethan has worked extremely hard to improve the presentation of his work and gets involved in all of our class discussions, contributing really valuable thoughts and ideas. He's also taken on a reading challenge which he is determined to succeed in. Well done Ethan, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations to Mia in 6C for a super week on her return to school. Mia has been contributing great insight and thoughts about the characters in our new text and has also been enjoying a great success in maths when calculating the area of triangles and parallelograms. An excellent effort and an example to all. Keep it up Mia. Congratulations to Jacob in 6B for a wonderful start back at school since lockdown. Jacob's attitude to learning is second to none and he approaches every task in school with determination and a growth mindset. We are really proud of you, Jacob. Keep up your excellent effort. Congratulations to all of this week's shooting stars. It's now time to find out what went on during Science Week. How could one species turn into another? How is it that we find ourselves surrounded by such complexity, such elegance? The genes of you and me, the genes of you and me, we're all made of DNA. We're all made of the same chemical DNA. We're all made of DNA. We're all made of the same chemical DNA. Only the fittest survive. And that was the key. Was the key. Natural selection. That was the key. We are surrounded by endless forms. Most beautiful, most wonderful evolution, the greatest show on earth. There is grandeur in this view of life. Most beautiful, most wonderful evolution, the greatest show on earth. The history of life can be thought of as a many branch tree. The five kingdoms of life were established early on. Bacteria, protists, amoeba-like creatures, fungi, plants, and animals. We find ourselves perched on one tiny twig, in the midst of a blossoming tree of life. Perched on one tiny twig, in the midst of a blossoming tree of life. Only the fittest survive, and that was the key. Natural selection, that was the key. We are surrounded by endless forms, most beautiful, most wonderful evolution, the greatest show on earth. There is grandeur in this view of life, most beautiful, most wonderful evolution, the greatest show on earth. We 
are surrounded by millions of other species. Walking, flying, burrowing, stalking, chasing, fleeing, outpacing. Animals strive to reach this one ultimate goal to ensure the survival of the next generation. This one ultimate goal to pass on their genes. That is what life is all about. Is all about. There is grandeur in this view of life as beautiful, as wonderful, evolution, the greatest show on earth. As we look back on the history of life, we see a picture of never-ending, ever-rejuvenating novelty. Those animals may seem to us to be very remote, strange, even fantastic. How could one species turn? into another. How is it that we find ourselves surrounded by such complexity, such elegance? The genes of you and me, the genes of you and me, we're all made of DNA. We're all made of the same chemical DNA. We're all made of DNA. We're all made of the same chemical DNA. Only the fittest survive. That was the key. We are surrounded by endless forms. Most beautiful, most wonderful. Evolution, the greatest show on earth. There is grandeur in this view of life. Most beautiful, most wonderful. Evolution, the greatest show on earth. thought of as a many-branched tree. The five kingdoms of life were established early on. Bacteria, protists, amoeba-like creatures, fungi, plants, and animals. We find ourselves perched on one tiny twig in the midst of a blossoming tree of life. Perched on one tiny twig of a blossoming tree of life. Only the fittest survive. And that was the key. Natural selection. That was the key. We are surrounded by endless forms. Most beautiful, most wonderful. Evolution, the greatest show on earth. There is grandeur in this view of life. Most beautiful, most wonderful. Evolution, the greatest show on earth. surrounded by millions of other species. Walking, flying, burrowing, stalking, chasing, fleeing, outpacing. Animals strive to reach this one ultimate goal to ensure the survival of the next generation. This one ultimate goal to pass on their genes. That is what life is all about. Is all about. There is grandeur in this view of life as beautiful, most wonderful evolution, the greatest show on earth. As we look back on the history of life, we see a picture of never-ending, ever-rejuvenating novelty. Those animals may seem to us to be very remote, strange, even fantastic. But all of us alive today owe our very existence to them. I am delighted to be able to share with you that last year, thanks to the hard work of all of us staff who were most ably led by Mr Barber and Miss Johnson, the school achieved the primary science quality mark. This recognises the quality of the science education provided by Maple Dean School. Well done everybody. Some fantastic experimenting and investigating there, and I know that the children had lots and lots of fun and also learned a lot. A huge, huge thank you to Mr Barber for organising the week, and a massive thank you to Mr Barber and to Miss Johnson for allowing the school to achieve a primary quality science mark. 
Well done. We are so proud. It's now time to find out who this week's top doodlers are. Congratulations. This certificate is awarded to Suleiman in 1Y for achieving the highest number of English due to size in the infants. And in the juniors, this award is awarded to Miriam in 3C. Congratulations. This certificate is awarded to Clara in 1R for achieving the highest number of spelling due to stars in the infants. In the juniors, this award is awarded to Rylan in 5A. Congratulations to Solomon in 1Y for achieving the highest number of mass doodle stars in the infants. And in the juniors, this certificate is awarded to Sophie in 5F. This certificate is awarded to Lily in 1Y for achieving the highest number of tailed doodle stars in the infant. And in the juniors, this certificate is awarded to Sophie in 5F. For having the most children on track to meet their English targets in the infants, this certificate is awarded to 1Y and 1R. And in the juniors, for having the most children on track to meet their English target, this certificate is awarded to 5F. For having the most children on track to meet their maths targets in the infants, this certificate is awarded to 2EH. And in the juniors, for having the most children on track to meet their maths target, this certificate is awarded to 5F. We're now going to celebrate the children who have shown a lot of commitment and a lot of resilience with their doodling. So first of all, congratulations go to Sophie Turner for achieving 100 day streak on maths doodle. And also again to Sophie Turner for achieving a 100 day streak with her English doodle. And to JL, who has also achieved a 100 day streak on English Doodle. Well done. And I'm delighted that Maya Nedza has now achieved a 300 day streak on her Doodle English. And also in her Doodle Maths. Keep up the good work, everyone. Well done. Congratulations to all of our top doodlers. Well done. It's now time to join in and sing our song, Keep On Keeping On. It's a song all about resilience, which is something that you need to be a good scientist, but it's also something that is going to help us through the last few weeks of lockdown. Hope you enjoy. It's been another great week with children throughout the school working their very best at all times. These children have already achieved 25 merits. The first one goes to Jackson in 1R. Then we have Oliver in 2A. Navtesh also in 2A. 
Logan Large in 2EH. Sam Robinson, who is also in 2EH. Finley Davis in 4M. Damon, also in 4M. Lexi in 4S. Logan in 4S. Jessica in 5F. And Dominic in 6B. And Jay Perkins, who's also in 6B. Well done to all of our 25 merit achievers. Keep up the good work. Achieving 50 merits, we have Frankie in 5F, Jaden in 5F, and also Ahmed in 5F. Achieving 50 merits in 6C, we have Louis. Congratulations to all of our 50 merit winners. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining us this week. I hope that you have a great weekend. Keep safe, everyone. Bye.